Here's how you can create short, interesting cinematic videos like this, 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 or even this. You might want to watch this video to the end because I'll be giving out this keyboard LED mat to someone at the end of this video. So to create short, interesting cinematic videos, you have to know that this is a YouTube video. Wait, it is? Yes, this is a YouTube video and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This segment will be called Becoming a Filmmaker. What? Becoming a Filmmaker. Becoming a what? Becoming a Filmmaker. Who's acting? So that brings me to the first thing you need to create interesting short cinematic videos, which is context. You have to plan your videos with a context in mind. What story are you trying to tell? What message are you trying to pass across? And in what setting will your story be happening? That gives you the right direction on what you need to get your videos done. Number two, inspiration. Where do I get my own inspiration from? I get it from Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Twitter, basically anywhere your inspiration can come from anywhere but make sure you have the context and an inspiration for how you want to tell your story and what you want it to look like lately i've been struggling with finding inspiration because there are just a lot of cool videos on the internet and it's easy to get lost so i'll advise you to look for a style of videos that you like to create focus on that and shoot something that looks like what you like and what you are going to watch personally and that way your video will look more interesting to other people as well. In this part of becoming a filmmaker, I won't be talking about the gadgets and equipment. I'll just be giving you the general ideas on what you need to create better and more interesting short form content. After you've gotten your context and your inspiration, the next thing is to make the story your own. You have to put a little bit of yourself in your story. That way it makes it original and it doesn't look like you're directly copying another person's work. Take this short video that I did, for example. It was inspired by a movie called Black Mirror and my context was it happening in a futuristic world. The story I tried to tell was a lost boy that is out working and trying to get a better life for himself and his family. And how was I able to tell that story in very little time with that dialogue and a lot of people could relate to it. That is because I paid attention to the angles I was getting I use the VFX, which we'll be talking about a lot, and I'll be dropping tutorials on that on this channel to tell the story on how time is going, the conversation he's having with his mom, and how he was sucked into the world. So you always have to keep that in mind, that you want to add a little bit of yourself in your story. And take this other video, for example. This is more of a music content, and it's talking about ad break. I got an inspiration from a creator on Instagram and I used the song from Juice World to interpret how I break feels using the Fire VFX and the iPhone control center to tell my story even a little bit better. And a lot of people could relate to that because it just feels like something that they will experience when they are going through an ad break. So you always have to keep this in mind that you want to add a little bit of yourself in your story. And finally, what you need to make your videos better is a little bit of confidence. You have to believe in your creation without caring what other people will think about it. You have to make sure you like your content well enough to put it out for other people to see without caring about the numbers, the engagement, or the interactions. Because to create better videos, to be honest, you just have to keep on doing it and you see improvement every time you create another video. Which brings me to the end of this video. I really struggled a lot starting out this segment of my YouTube channel. I felt so lost, but I still held myself together to build the confidence to speak to my camera right now and start doing what I want to do by helping myself and you guys out to create better videos. I would love to build a community of people. So let's start by subscribing to my YouTube channel, liking and dropping a comment on this video. I've also created a Telegram group. The link would be down in the description of this video. I also have an Instagram channel that you can join. And I have a Spotify playlist. If you are into something like that, you can click the link in the description and that will take you to the playlist. And yeah, for the LED mats, I'll be picking someone at random, like I said, to win this. We'll be doing a lot of giveaway on this channel. So that is another thing to stay tuned for. And also in the next video and the segment of becoming a filmmaker, we're talking about the gadgets and equipment that you need to create better and more cinematic videos. We'll be doing the high budget ones 
and the ones you can get on low budget that will give you almost the same results and get you started in creating better videos. See you guys in another video. Cheers.